You want to create a natural atmosphere at home, but you don't have enough space and your budget is limited. You've been watching aquarium videos, but you're confused and intimidated. In this video, I will show you how to set up a low maintenance nano aquarium with minimal equipment and a small budget. If you're ready, let's get started. Since the aquarium will have plants, the substrate we use is important. Plants get their nutrients from the water and the substrate. I use garden soil because it's the cheapest and most long-lasting option. I got this soil from my own garden. If you don't have this option, you can use commercial garden or potting soil. However, make sure it doesn't contain fertilizers or pesticides. These are pieces of lava rock. These stones have small pores which are very conducive to the colonization of beneficial bacteria. Over time, beneficial bacteria will multiply in the soil and around the plant roots. This rock provides them with more surface area for colonization. I'm adding river sand on top of the soil layer. This sand is a natural material and doesn't leach into the water. You can find it in a nearby river or you can buy it from a construction materials store in your area. Another option is play sand, which is often used in children's playgrounds and can be obtained very cheaply. I found three small pieces of driftwood in a nearby stream. If you're unsure whether the wood you've found in nature is safe to use in your aquarium, let it soak in a container of water for a week. If after a week, the water has developed a bad smell, the wood is not suitable for aquarium use. If the water doesn't smell, but has changed color, don't worry. The color comes from tannins released by the wood, which is safe for aquarium use. One of the most important aspects is the plants. In this type of filterless and soil-based setup, the plants are the heart of our aquarium. Plants absorb harmful substances such as ammonia, nitrites and nitrates from the water, acting as a natural filter. This helps maintain water quality. Through photosynthesis, plants produce oxygen, which is essential for fish and other aquatic organisms. This also helps maintain a stable and healthy environment in the tank. They absorb nutrients from the substrate and water, which helps to prevent the growth of algae by outcompeting them for nutrients. They offer hiding spots, which reduce stress for fish and create a more natural environment. Plants help break down fish waste and uneaten food, converting them into usable nutrients, which supports the ecosystem's overall health. They contribute to a balanced ecosystem by supporting beneficial bacteria and microorganisms that play a role in nutrient cycling and organic matter decomposition. Overall, Plants are crucial for maintaining a balanced, healthy, and visually pleasing aquarium ecosystem. I use dechlorinated tap water in my aquariums because the tap water in my area is suitable for aquarium use. However, tap water quality varies from region to region, and its composition can change over time. Therefore, do not use tap water unless you are sure it is safe for your aquarium. After a few days of adding water, I added more plants of the same type. More plants will provide us with better filtration, oxygen, and a healthier aquarium. By the way, can you see the first living creature on the front glass? What a wonderful world! After one week, an oily layer formed on the surface of the water and on the driftwood. This is called biofilm. To get rid of the biofilm on the surface, a surface skimmer filter or surface agitation is required. However, this tank has neither. Simply, we can remove the biofilm on the surface of the water using a paper towel. The name of these tiny snails is horned nerite snails. These creatures love to eat biofilm. Due to their small size, they are perfect choices for nano aquariums and moreover, they pose no harm to any other inhabitants in the tank. Next week, the water is almost crystal clear. The plants have grown significantly in a short time. 
The plants at the front have grown quite a bit, so I'm trimming them a little. This way, over time, they will start to grow horizontally and cover the entire substrate. The tiny greens on the water surface are duckweed. I think they came from the plants. You wouldn't believe how fast they grow. They aren't a very desirable species, but I'll keep them here for now. I added a few shrimp to the tank the next day. Shrimps are excellent at consuming algae, helping to keep the tank clean and reducing maintenance. They feed on detritus, uneaten food, and dead plant matter, which helps to keep the tank clean and reduces the risk of harmful waste buildup. Shrimp contribute to a more diverse and balanced ecosystem within the tank, promoting overall health and stability. Their constant movement helps circulate water, which can aid in oxygen distribution throughout the tank. Adding shrimp can enhance both the functionality and visual appeal of an aquarium. It's time to add fish. These are ember tetras. Ember tetra is a small freshwater fish species popular among aquarium enthusiasts. They are known for their vibrant orange-red coloration, resembling embers, hence their name. Ember tetras are peaceful schooling fish native to South America, specifically found in the slow-moving waters of the Amazon basin. The fish have traveled a long distance, so they are under stress. That's why their colors appear faded. Fish don't like being under direct light, so to relax them, I'm adding floating plants to the tank. After the fish are added to the tank, they should not be disturbed too much. I'm turning off the lights and letting them rest for a day. The next day, they started showing their colors. They will gradually get more accustomed to the tank over time. We created a beautiful nano aquarium together. This planted tank doesn't have a filter or CO2 system, and it doesn't take up much space. During the setup, we kept everything to a minimum. By mimicking this setup, you can have beautiful aquariums too. Plus, you won't need to spend a lot of money. I would like to thank each and every one of you who followed along. I would be delighted if you subscribe and turn on notifications to stay informed about the next video. Peace and love.